I am spending the entire day to see if Uber Eats is a worthy side hustle. Let's go. The plan is simple. We have to go to Walmart, we have to get gas, we have to eat some breakfast, and then from there we're off to the races. I will have everything that we have spent on and everything we buy right on the left hand side of the screen so you can see exactly what we buy and how much it costs. Alright guys, that's one item out of three things we need to do before we can start delivering for Uber Eats. So on to the next one. Alright, so we are at Kane's getting breakfast at the moment. And I just spent $17.12 for one person. But since there's two of us, it came out to $34.24. So just keep that in mind that you will have to pay for your own expenses when you're doing Uber Eats. For example, gas, food, snacks, anything extra you need. It's all gonna be covered out of your pocket. However, since it's for a business, technically you can write some of it off on your taxes. I am not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. Now that we have eaten breakfast and we even got our new phone mount, we are able to go to the gas station, get some gas, and then we are going to start working for Uber Eats to really find out if this whole thing is actually worth it or not. On the screen right now is all the total expenses so far, including our gas trip. So you already know how much that costs before I even do it. Hey bro, I forgot to ask, what are you paying with? Gas is really expensive nowadays, huh? Oh yeah, I'm paying with current which is actually the sponsor of today's video. Current is an easy and free to use service that allows you to own a debit card while providing awesome benefits such as cash back in select stores and 4% APY, meaning you earn money while using their accounts. Click the link in the description to get started. All right, now that we got gas, add that to the total. We also got some snacks, so I will add that right here on screen as well. So now we can mentally prepare ourselves to start driving officially for Uber Eats. It is 10.55 a.m. Let's go live in three, two, one. All right, now we just gotta find our first order. All right, so we just got our first order. I'm gonna block out the name there but we're here at starbucks at the pickup location they have 10 items so let's see how we're gonna fit this in here you guys want me to tape it uh, yes yes please, yes, please. Yes, please. Can't for tape. Can't for tape. <laughs> thank you so much all right the rest the rest that's not it okay so we just got a second item guys so we have to go and pick up the second item oh we right here too literally the same area for the second one so we're gonna that's ask gonna them again awesome. wait is it the same like the same starbucks same starbucks what the fuck? <laughs> we have to fit all of this in here bro caught the primitive uh not corrosive honey merchandise uh just letting you know i just got a uh, another order that just came in for, for this store is it okay if i pick it next? uh no different person i'm holding up the whole line it feels yeah. so bad yeah, I'm so sorry about that. It makes sense though. Yeah, yeah, the store's gonna be crazy. All right, thank you so much. All right, so we are here. It's a retirement home, I believe. We got the food. Now we're just gonna. Oh, it's a rehab place. This looks really familiar, actually. All right, so we're just gonna put it right here in front of this pot. So we're going to take photo, take photo. Alright. 
to your drop off at All right. So now we're just going to the next place, dude. All right. So we just dropped off our first order. I think that went decently smooth. So now we just have someone else's order uh, that we picked up earlier. Rolled the clip. Okay, so we just got a second item, guys. Can you guys come inside? Because we kind of. Yeah, I'm so sorry about time. that. And so here we go. Let's go take it to them. All right, there he goes. We just made it to the other house, dropping it off. And now we're gonna head out towards Long Beach and try and get some more orders from that hot spot. So let's do this. So we're on our way to the next hot spot. We delivered two deliveries from the same store to almost the same neighborhood. And it came out to about $15. So we've made that back so far. I hope that we can at least break even. That'd be nice. Up to this point, we have spent a total of $187.37 from Walmart, Canes, gas, and some road snacks. We have made $15 of that back, however, we have a long way to go if we want to break even. All we've delivered so far was Starbucks. That's, that's so f***ing true. That's all people want is Starbucks. I wonder if it's these boys. For Brianna? Yeah. yeah. Here you go. Enjoy. Have a good day. Have a good one. I've never seen high school do that before. Well, I've seen a couple. Every single thing that we had delivered has been goddamn Starbucks. I don't get it. So we just got an order here where we actually have to go into a CVS and look for the items ourselves and pay with the Uber Plus card. All right, so we're here. We locked up the truck. And, uh, well, welcome to the back end. Welcome, welcome to LA. Uh, we have to pick up a few items from CBS. We just picked up. It was one item. Now we're going to go take it to our uh, recipient. we to get on to the next order. Okay. So it is the next day. Last night didn't go to plan at all. After we finished in LA, we decided we were gonna come back to uh, my area and uh, take a break and then go out and do more, but that didn't end up happening. Long story short, I was just really tired and I did not feel like doing anything. So his mom, my, his mom came and picked up my friend, so. Yeah, but it is the next day now. On screen right now, here are the expenses and here are the gains. I know we didn't make background money, but I was also partly because I wasn't really focused and dedicated. We were even declining orders because we felt too overwhelmed in a way. All in all, is this a viable side hustle? In a way, no. In another way though, um, Uber, they give you great deals. You can even get benefits with them like health insurance and stuff like that if you go full time. Uh, they also pay for your gas most of the time. Uh, well, not most of the time. They do pay for your gas, at least a big portion of it. They'll usually take like an average of what it is in California. They'll take the average price and they'll, you know, give that to you for the, for the amount of miles you drove. You know, it's good, bad. Uh, this one's kind of right in the middle. So next episode, we're going to see, uh, a different side hustle and let's see what we can, uh, find out. Thank you so much for watching guys. Remember we're not toxic. We're corrosive. We'll see you in the next video. Yo what's going on everybody? My name is Chris and Bunny and welcome back to another video on the channel where today we're going to be going ahead and playing some more yeah, Fortnite. Oh, I can't even get it. I got all the monitors. I got all the monitors. So let's go ahead and let's get straight into it.